everybody, it's me again. So today, I'm going to show you my brand new machine that just ordered online and that just received it. And I want to unbox uh, these beautiful machine with you guys and talk a little bit more about this machine and why I ordered this machine. So um, if you follow me, you will know that um, I have been not posting so much videos. I've been working and if you already know, um, my dad is in Puerto Rico, so we have been going through some personal situation. That's the reason I'm not been posting so many um, videos lately. So I hope that things get better up there so I can um, start making more videos for you guys. So yeah, today we're gonna be talking, like I say, about this beautiful machine. This is a Yuki TL um, 2010 QL, I think it is. I'll put all the information below so you guys can figure out all that information. So this video is basically unboxing. I'm going to show you a couple things that um, this machine had and why I choose to buy this machine versus any other machine or buy another industry machine. So let's start it. Okay, so we are gonna start um, opening the box. I'm gonna show you what this machine came from. I will put a affiliate market on the bottom so that way you can order the same one that I ordered and so you can get the same thing that I got. Um, I'm going to open here. And the first thing that pop up is the um, inspection certified. It's here, if you guys can see it. I will try to make small videos so you can see all that. So now we're gonna be unboxing on the top and this side okay I right, open it up um, okay so I'm gonna show you what came here the first thing that I have here is the order all the good information um, where I order, what I'm supposed to get, and all that good stuff. Um, I will try to put all the information below so you guys can see it. The next thing I'm going to um, pop out is the um, warranty. You guys know that every single machine that you buy, you're normally gonna get some type of warranty. So you really want to fill it out and read all the instructions in your machine. So that is something that you always need to do, regardless if you read or um, watch any video, you always wanna go through all that information. The first thing it came out is the pedal. This is the pedal for lifting the foot. Put in here. Normally this machine, um, I will call it, is like kinda hybrid between a um, regular sewing machine at home in a industry machine and that's the reason I, like, I got this one because this one I can use it um, if I go away or visit people or whatever I just put in this in any plastic box and take it with me without any problem and it gave me all the quality of a industry machine but in the size of a home machine okay let's see the first thing that I pop it out on the top is bobbins, needles, I have two package of needles, what else I have here, okay, I pop it out, the, um, all the pieces that came in the machine is here, so this is the thing that came here, the next thing, and to see if I can pop it out is ah, this thing. So I'm gonna put in here so you guys can see what it is. I think this is the plate um, on this machine. I think that's what it is. And then, oh, I have here more needles. This is a bungle um, that I got. So they give you extra stuff. So um, I'm kind of happy to get that kind of bungle because um, you get more stuff for your money. So, And I have this 
This is what you call a cover when you put it on any table that you have your machine. You do have a cover and you put this up there. And this is the paddle, which is really, really big for a paddle. Um, let's see what else I have around. I have anything else around, so yeah. Let me try to, oh, the power cord. And then let me take off the machine. I normally, what I do is just lay in the table like this way and then pot it out this way so that way you don't have to um, kind of make it fold. And normally what you want to do is pull out the one in the bottom. Normally it's two pieces on, on, on the box. So like foam or plastic thing. So you want to pull out the bottom one because of the bottom one who pull the whole thing. You don't want to pull for here or do weird stuff. So flat, put it flat, put it in a table or anything, and then pull it out this way and hold the box. So that way you can pull only the machines and then pull back and this way until you have the machines out. So move this thing on the way. Sorry for the mess. And we're gonna move the box out of the way completely. Always stay in the box for a couple weeks because you don't know if you want to keep the machine or not. So that way, if you have to return it, I think you have 60 or 90 days for return this machine. So if you want to return it, I return the machine. I'm going to save the plastic thing and every single plastic that came on this machine. So let's remove this one, which is the top one. Put it on the box. And then we're going to, this is the machine here. Um, it's kind of hard plastic or metal, or is a hybrid between both? I think it's a hybrid, um, but we're gonna figure out. So this is the machine this way. I'm gonna try to pull it out of the machine. You see, it's heavy. I can feel it's heavy, this machine, so we're gonna try to trick the machine some kind of way. Oh. Plastic, make it hard to. So put it this way, and then slide it, slide it, perfect, now I'm going to put this up in here, I don't know if you told you guys, this machine is especially good for quilting, and the reason I decide to buy this one versus any other one, like the brother, I will put information about a brother one, um, is because this one, it gives you the same type stitches that the Yuki 87, um, the Yuki um, DD8700, the other one that I have, it gives the same exact stitches and have the same kind of functionality as a industrial machine. And that's the reason I choose that. I was searching on YouTube and see who else was using this machine for sewing regular clothes. I think everybody using this machine for quilting, which is not bad. I mean, it's kind of what it was designed, but you can also use it for um, sewing clothes, and that's the reason I choose this one. So let's move on, taking all the plastic around. Oh gosh, it's beautiful. It's really, really pretty. Okay, so. Put all this here. They have some kind of silica here. So I'm going to remove this. Okay, so I'm gonna get you guys close so we can see together the machine itself and you can see um, all the functionalities of the machine. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you the pieces um, or functions of these machines. So I've been reading a lot about it and watching the video and in many sense, this machine is the same as a, a industrial machine. The, um, like I said, the Yuki um, DDL 8700. 
So there are a few functionality here that you do have that an inducer machine you don't have, um, like the previous one that I just mentioned. So here you do have a couple functionalities that you don't have. For example, you do have this speed here. Here you can go faster or you can go slow. Also, you do have the, um, the button for cutting the thread, the machine. You just press and we cut it for you so you don't have to use any kind of scissors or anything to cut the thread. Just press here. Then also you do have the needle up and needle down, which is really, really good functionality um, for clothes in general when you're making clothes. Also, you do have the um, dot fit here, up and down, which is really good for quilting. So this portion here, for people who make clothes, you are not going to use that much. Um, I never use that anyway. But for people who are doing quilting and things like that, is going to be the same thing. Um, if you have any of the machines that you have to pop it down the um, dot feet and all that good stuff. After that, all this area here is almost exactly the same thing as a regular Yuki. So you don't have anything different in that sense, in that portion here. Threading the machine in general is very similar. You do have your um, pull for um, the thread here. One thing that you have in this one is you can use uh, big ones or you can use small ones. You can use different sizes in this one. You can do that in the Yuki, but the Yuki give it to you a little bit more hard. So you have to put it like, if you use a small pull thread, you have to use like a cup and put in there or something like that. Here not, here you have the, vers uh, the versatility to use either or without any problem. One thing that I like in this one versus the regular Yuki is you do have a automatic thread of the needle here so you just pull here and this is automatic um, thread your needle which is really 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 amazing if you sew in a lot of things um, so yeah so far in that sense I really like that another thing that this one has that versus the Yuki is the bobbing the bobbing and this part some people who never have a research sewing machine, they get a little bit um, um, confused because the bobbin here is here. I'm gonna show you. So it's here. So you have to do it the same way that you do with a inducer sewing machine um, to pop in that way. So it's here versus on their um, front plates. So you have to do it in this way and it's going to be the same way that you do it in inducer sewing machine. So in general, I like that because it still give you the industrial, um, the inducer sewing machine style. Okay, everybody. So right now I'm gonna show you what the bags, um, all the goodies in the bags. So there will be a bunch of stuff that you may not use. Um, is because um, this is more about um, quilting, not so much about sewing. The first thing that you get in the bag is a simple um, flat head, which is really good. Um, have a flat head for the machine itself, so that way you know that you don't have to pop in that. Um, I know there will be a couple of foot there are for quilting, so I'm gonna show you right now the ones. This is for quilting. I never have done that, um, but I'm more than happy to try. You can see here. This is for quilting. They gave me two. I'm guessing they're different sizes. Um, I'm sorry, people, I never, oh yeah, different sizes. You can see here in the this portion, the holes are different. I never have done that. I wish, um, I was kind of into that. So, this is the oil, um, I'm gonna show you here, the oil. I heard that you have to oil this machine very well, that you need to put a lot of oil on that machine. Um, this is the food that came on the machine. Oh, this is super nice. They give you like um, screwed, so you can change 
um, the needle and everything. So that's really nice from them. This thing, I don't know what it is. So I will figure out eventually. Um, let me show you this foot. I guess this is the regular foot. No, this is kind of walking foot. Ooh, that's nice. It's that kind of walking foot. So yeah, I need to get more info about that kind of food. Um, and I'm guessing this is another food. This is, I think it looks like a ham, to make a ham. Um, the pieces, um, to be honest, I think this is when you want to sew in big pieces of fabric. I'm not quite sure about that. Uh, if you guys know, please let me know. Keep it in mind. I know sewing and machines, but it's more about clothes, not quilting. And these machines is especially for quilting, so. Now, it came with a pack of needle. Um, 14, which 14 normally is a regular size, so I'm guessing this is the one that the machine has. And it came with this type of um, bobbins. Um, and came with this cap and this small brush. Something really quick about this machine is that you do have the power here and you have the power cord here and then you have the connection for the paddle here. The wheel is here and you do have the bobbin winding here. So if you want to um, feel the wine, um, the bobbin, you can just put it in here. So, so far the machine is very similar um, like you do have the um, stitch lens here, your tension, it will be here. So yeah, pretty much this machine is like any other industrial machine and a home machine um, together. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and I hope that you guys subscribe um, to my channel. Keep it in mind, I'm back, I'm gonna make more videos. And keep a subscriber, um, subscribing to my channel. I will do the give it away after 1,000 subscribers. So keep subscribing. Bye.